When you're a buyer, never think that it's a waste of time to submit an offer at what you think makes sense. So people may not know this, but when you submit an offer, it doesn't cost you any money. When you're working with a realtor, they get paid based on the deal getting done. So you can do as many offers as you want for many properties. And if you don't get any of those properties, it doesn't cost you any money. Uh, which is a great thing for buyers because, you know, unless you're being unrealistic and you're giving offers that are way below, you're wasting the agent's time. But if the agent's communicating with you properly and they're explaining what these properties are, are costing and what the expectations are, um, that's a process where, you know, you put your offer in, you may lose out, doesn't matter. You move on to the next one and you're not getting any payment uh, to the property or any deposit until the deal goes through. The truth is you don't know what position the sellers are in and whether they may be in a tough spot that they have to take whatever offer that's reasonable uh, in order to uh, sell the property and move on to wherever they need to go. So give your offer as long as it's reasonable and it's you know justified, it may not be everything on paper that what the seller is looking for, but you have nothing to lose. You may as well put your offer in and see what happens. You always wanna look at the comparables, which is the sales in the area for guidance on what should be uh, the expectations or what the previous homes have sold for so that you know that you're well within that range of, of what's reasonable and, and what the sellers should be expecting, even if they're overpriced. Um, because sometimes sellers price at what they want. They don't look at the comparables so much. They just, you know, they renovate a property a certain way. They spent a certain amount of money into a property. That's why they're priced a certain way. But in the end of the day, you as a buyer, look at the comparables, make sense of it that way. Because if you're getting a mortgage, the appraisal coming back for that mortgage is looking at those comparables. So you have to be committed to what these values are, because if you're not, the bank is. A strategy that you can do to try and uh, put pressure on the seller to really consider your offer is to make the irrevocable time not a long time, which means the irrevocable time is the expiry time and date of that offer. Um, and sometimes the strategy is if let's say uh, an offer is given at 6 p.m., you might give them until midnight to decide or whatever it is, a few hours. So that makes them take it seriously because once that deadline passes, that offer is dead. It does not exist. So you really pressure them into say, you know what, this is uh, whatever offer, it's decent, but we can't just expect these offers to come uh, or more to come. So we have to take seriously of what's in front of us and you make them take it very, very seriously and maybe even sign it back or accept it, whatever it is. But if you don't try with strategies like this, you'll never know about what the seller bottom line truly is. Truth is, you don't know the conversations behind closed doors. When the sellers are meeting with the agent, uh, those conversations that are being had, you as a buyer, you don't know what's being said. So it's important to just put your best foot forward, try what makes sense to you. Um, and again, I can't stress it enough, don't be unreasonable. If a house is priced at a million dollars and everything is showing to be 900 plus, you know, you may not get that property if you're, if you're offering eight or whatever, sevens. Like those things are not, are not gonna be reasonable and it's not, uh, respectable to the agent's time, but you know, be aggressive within what's reasonable within the comparables. So the point is, put your offer through, give your best foot forward, because the truth is, you never know what the sellers are dealing with behind closed doors. You don't know if they bought a property, you don't know if they're getting divorced, you don't know if they're in an urgent situation for financial reasons that they have to sell. These are things that you'll never know as a buyer. So try your offer, give something that makes sense, and you never know, they might accept it.